96 million years ago, the largest dinosaur to ever live roamed South America. This dinosaur was the Argentinosaurus, a member of Titanosaur that reigned as the largest confirmed dinosaur throughout the Cenomanian and Turonian ages of the late Cretaceous. The first Argentinosaurus fossil was discovered in 1987, when a farmer happened to cross what he believed to be petrified locks, contacted the local Museo Carmen Funes Museum, from where it was uncovered that the petrified logs were actually the fibula of a new dinosaur species. In 1989, Argentine paleontologist Josie F. Bonaparte conducted an excavation of the farm and revealed several more fossil specimens, including seven back vertebrae, an incomplete sacrum, five sacral vertebrae, and incomplete rib pieces. Four years later, in 1993, Bonaparte published his findings and officially named the new dinosaur species Argentinosaurus huon colensis, with Argentinosaurus translating to Argentine lizard and huon colensis referring to the nearby city Plaza Huancol from where the fossils were originally discovered. Assigned to the group Titansoria, the Argentinosaurus has long been considered the largest dinosaur to have ever lived throughout the 180 million long year reign of the dinosaurs. The Argentinosaurus is itself a relatively late arrival, being dated to the Cenomanian to Turonian ages of the late Cretaceous 96 to 92 million years ago. Having survived the Typhonian extinction event of the late Jurassic, which saw the extinction of many sauropods, such as Diplodocus and Tamarasaurus. The exact size of the Argentinosaurus has been the topic of debate, with many research publications producing size estimates ranging between 30 to 40 meters in length and 60 to 100 metric tons in weight. This dinosaur is so massive that a completed femur would measure 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet tall with a circumference of 4 feet or 1.18 meters at its slimmest section. And the vertebrae along the back could measure up to 1.6 meters tall and 1.3 meters wide. And if you think that's impressive, show your support by subscribing to the channel and leaving a like down below. It really does help the channel and the video grow. Difficulties in ascertaining the exact size of this titanosaur is the result of there being no complete skeleton, with only partial reconstruction possible with current fossils. This is a common problem with many sauropod discoveries, and has led to numerous conflicting statements and revisions about the exact size of any particular sauropod. A research paper published in 2023 proposed a maximum size for the Argentinosaurus at 75 to 80 metric tons. This size estimate is within reason to other earlier research publications and seems to form a consensus about the size constraints for this particular dinosaur, despite the lack of any complete skeleton reconstruction. Argentinosaurus made its home within the Huon Coal Formation, located in the Nequian Basin of Patagonia, Argentina. Whilst undoubtedly the largest dinosaur of its habitat, the Argentinosaurus lived alongside several other large dinosaurs, such as Limesaurus tessoni, Caphatesaura anaerobica, Mapusaurus rosei, and Maraxis gigas. Like all other sauropods, the main defense of the Argentinosaurus is due to its sheer size. Growing at a rapid pace since hatching from an egg, the Argentinosaurus would rapidly grow to reach adulthood, where its immeasurable size would make it far too large and impractical for predation from dinosaurs such as the Mapusaurus. The Argentinosaurus could reach its incredible size thanks to several adaptions coming from a long line of sauropods. 
To support their great weight, sauropods possessed weight-bearing limbs with broad hind feet and with front feet designed as vertical columns with nearly non-existent finger bones. The front feet of the titanosaurs lacked the external claw and finger digits of the front foot, instead having a fully vertical column foot more alike a stump than an actual foot. A common trait of nearly all sauropods is an exceptionally long neck, and the Argentinosaurus is no exception. With the Argentinosaurus's neck being over 10 meters long, a robust air delivery system was needed to deliver enough oxygen over the great distance of the sauropod. Evidenced by indentations and hollow cavities throughout the neck, the sauropods possessed a system of air sacs along the neck vertebrae, producing phenomatic hollow bones, drastically reducing the overall weight of the neck. This adaption would provide an effective heat dispersal tool, pooling blood before it reaches the brain and producing an efficient airflow throughout the sauropod's body. Although no Argentinosaurus skull has been recovered, we can speculate that the Argentinosaurus possessed the common trait of a lighter built skull and limited mastication, lacking the ability to process food through the mouth, instead simply swallowing food down the long neck into the digestive tract. This style of food consumption reduces the complexity of the skull, therefore reducing its overall weight, permitting further neck elongation. The Argentinosaurus weighed 80 metric tons and reached 36 meters in length, making Argentinosaurus the largest confirmed dinosaur to ever exist. Although this statement is disputed with other dinosaurs such as Barosaurus, Cratogotitan, Herterosaurus, Amphicoleus, Marapunisaurus, Marapunisaurus, and Brahaphicosaurus are all considered to be equal or greater size to the Argentinosaurus. The most notable and recent of these sauropods is the Brahaphicosaurus. This dinosaur was recently speculated to have reached 170 tons, substantially heavier than Argentinosaurus, from a 2023 research paper by Gregory S. Paul and Sia Laramendi, speculating a size range of 170 to 170 tons, making Brahaphicosaurus the largest dinosaur to ever exist. Problems with this research paper extend the limited fossil specimens available for analysis, imposing the use of prediction models and hypothetical skeleton reconstructions, requiring more thorough research before an accepted consensus can be reached. Another sauropod considered greater in size to the Argentinosaurus is Marapunisaurus fragilimus, which name means huge lizard, and has a size estimate of 150 metric tons and 58 meters in length. This enormous size estimate is based off the only known fossil remain, being a partial vertebra discovered by Oromel William Lucas in 1877 within Garden Park of Colorado. This partial vertebra measured 1.5 meters in height and has a theoretical complete height of 2.7 meters, therefore making it larger than Argentinosaurus. However, confirmation of this discovery is impossible as the original fossil specimen has gone missing. One theory for the fossil's disappearance is natural disintegration, as paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope noted that the vertebra was inherently fragile and preserved in weathered mudstone. Therefore, the fossil likely disintegrated and was subsequently discarded, with only an illustration of the fossil being evidence for its original existence therefore making it impossible to confirm the size estimates of this quite remarkable discovery. Therefore, until more research is conducted and a new consensus can be reached, the Argentinosaurus remains as the largest confirmed dinosaur to have ever roamed the Earth. Did you enjoy this video? Subscribe to the channel for more content, and be sure to drop a like down below. Do you believe that Argentinosaurus is the largest dinosaur? Share your thoughts down below, but as always, thank you for watching.